Hello and welcome Pocket Watch here and it's about time for another episode of Fata Morgana. So before we start I have one random question to you. What do you want me to play after Fata Morgana? I know it's still early and but I feel like we are getting closer to like the proper end. And I think like yeah I can like start gathering some ideas you know. So yeah let me know in the comments. What would you like me to play after Fata Morgana when we finally finish it. And yeah for now let's just inspect our memories and let's go to the story shall we. Mm. This time, it's uh, all work out. It has to. It will all work out. It has to. I had all the confidence in the world when we worked together. But now that I'm alone in the dark, in the absolute silence of the night, I'm starting to get anxious again. Yeah, I'm starting to doubt everything again. Because, like, you know, other lines stopped working and stuff. Uh, yeah, need to figure it out. Should be fine though, right? Starting to feel like something bad is going to happen. Like I'm getting, uh, going to mess something up again. I took a big step today and I know I have to keep it together. To go thinking positive. The only big, uh, like, bad thing happened right now, what I think about, what could happen, is that the Bollingers will uh, find out that village and the village will tell the Bollingers that there was the girl that like lived in the mansion and then they will like probably try to kill her or even like Michelle as well, you know, because they were not supposed to leave this place. So that's my concern right now, that Bollingers will find out that she left, basically. Oh, we're back to this, okay. The goods you're after gives are not cheap, understand? Thus saying the Lord of Hosts, the woman uh, had committed three sins. She has lied, she has stolen, she has betrayed her fellow man. It's alright. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of, Giselle. Whatever happens, you have to hold fast to your faith in the Goddess of Others. You have no reason to tremble. Oh, yes, come in. That's all? I didn't think I was hearing things. Yeah, very unusual. Oh, wait, what? Okay, that was weird. I thought like Michelle came like here to like talk to her or something again. And that was unusual for him to knock, but he's not here? Okay. What was that about? Oh, a glass. It's wine and it's warm. Oh, he just brought her some glass, some wine. Okay. I guess he ha uh, heated it on the fire for me. Oh, you you could have at least said hi. <laughs> I have a feeling like this is going to work out. Good. Getting some confidence. And that's the next chapter. Oh, we just like... Okay, we're back to this place. Light shining in through the windows, a swallowed hole by the darkness. As if to say, our time together never actually existed. We saw it though. Together we watched the light crack open the darkness. I'm begging you, please remember. Please find yourself. Please, Giselle. Don't let the things you felt, the warmth that fell over us, remain lost to you. I might have seen it. Seen that most beautiful light. Giselle? But are these truly my memories? Wow, she's so doubting everything. That's such a big trauma. What happened later in this door? Because it seems like she kind of overcame her trauma at this point, where we saw, right? It's like traumatic and everything for her, no wonder she wanted to forget. But it seems like everything went alright with Michelle later, so what happened later? Why is she still doubting? Could they not be, not be someone else's tale? 
like all others we have seen so far. She was so bright and energetic, and I am neither of those. Besides, the maid needs not a tale of her own. It's not a story. There are these are memories. Mine and your memories, no one else. It was it was all very much real. As uh, were the kinder, happier days that comes next. Kinder, happier days. Those words create a strange warmness within my chest. But at the same time, they make me indescribably anxious. Is there really happiness to be found on the road? Also, does that mean like uh, then that the reconstruction basically of the soul like uh, they talked about before in like a uh, previous ending that we had it's actually a thing because like we had like these other doors that are like in the future right so michelle was actually like reconstructed like one of these people there like was michelle jacopo for example or not or Michelle was the white-haired girl in these other doors. I'm a bit confused how the other doors works. If like this, these are memories of both of them, then they must existed in the other doors. So the reconstruction of the soul thing is is a is a thing, right? They were in the stories somewhere. Am I am I correct? Maybe. Even if our past doesn't lead to happiness, it couldn't be worse than uh, where we are now. Come, Giselle. To, uh, to the spring that made us even more, th uh, that made us more than just strangers. Okay, time skip. Spring time. Master? Come on, get up. Up with you. Master! Okay, so this is... Yep, this is the... See? Okay. This is the scene in the bedroom that we had back in the... Yeah. This is, this is, this is it. Finally we get the scene. Huh? See? What did I tell you? It's so much nicer in here with a little light. Morning? Wait a second. Wow, the soundtrack always... Like, when we have lyrics in soundtrack, this is so fucking beautiful. Wow. Don't you hide under your bedspread? Get out of here. I'm fine if my room is staying dark. What she's even doing here? But Master, we agreed I could open the windows. <laughs> Not on you. <laughs> I did, yes. Don't worry, I put curtains up. If it gets too bright, you can draw them. Warning take the best part of being outside and squeezes them all into the same few hours. Don't have to go outside in the sunlight for it either. Just listen to all the wonderful sounds. The joyful song of birds, the swaying of the trees, the rustling of the leaves. Am I being as pushy as I feel right now? Kind of. I fucking love this episode. Wow, happy times, finally, god damn it. I'm so happy for them. You wouldn't be you if you weren't so for now. I won't get on uh, you about it. Also, now that I know your real intentions, uh. Nah, never mind. Yeah, I completely misjudged you. You are exactly opposite of what I thought you were. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you both are pretty much the opposite of what you thought about each other. What did you think of me? Let's see. I thought you were cold and cruel. Heartless and incomprehensible. But I'm beginning to get a better idea. You try to put uh, on airs, but you're really, uh, but you're really rather childish. You have a short temper, that can be surprisingly playful. Ha! Huh, what else? You have a pretty, pretty difficult personality too. 
That's not a single good trait, not at least. <laughs> yeah, because I felt you are awful. Yeah, no, hear me out there. That's not everything. You give me a chance to talk and listen to me intently. You can be kind and nice too. Agree that we would live together. Let us in the same house, so we got plenty of time to add more to the list. Aww. And I hope you can make your own list about me too. This is just the beginning, after all. We've got a long, long time ahead of us. Plenty enough to get to know each other now. Let's not waste any time then. What do you say we do something today that we haven't been able to before? Ah, where should we begin? Eat breakfast together. That never happened before. Oh, I know. We can uh, get this place cleaned up. Or that. Okay. You want to clean? Now that there's some actual light in here, we can see all sorts of things we would probably rather not. Like dust. <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. My vision was still slightly unfocused, having not completely escaped from Morpheus' embrace. But I could see well enough to catch her smiling brightly. What exactly the, uh, does it mean, Morpheus embrace? Does it just mean like the sunlight, basically? How is Morpheus connected to sunlight? Is this a, is Morpheus in like mythology or something? I I'm not sure. You can like give me like some like trivia about this actually in the comments if possible. I'd really appreciate that. <coughs> that was the first time I had gotten a good look at her and the light. I could see her facial features I had missed during yesterday commotion and those glittering eyes. Not even a trace of tribulation she had endured stained her pure jade eyes. She's surprisingly good looking, yep. I'm clearly not myself right now. Also, if you think about this, now I think about this, this is a bit of the parallel to the... Oh wait, now, hey, wait, hold on a second. So, are the other doors like just like parallel to the, to this door? Just like this door, but like shown in like separate memories that were twisted or something? Because, like I said before, like, this door seems to have, like, a lot of, like, parallel things to other doors. Like, this thing, like, he thinks, like, she's, like, surprisingly beautiful, and she thought of him. Actually, no, never mind. I thought about the beast, but it it, it isn't exactly the same. Because uh, at the beginning, she thought, like, she, he's cruel and stuff, and that wasn't the case with the beast. Never mind. My bad. Something the matter, Master. <laughs> I know, you're still half asleep, aren't you? I guess I'm just going to have you have to throw my best bucket of water on you. What is the best bucket of water? I'm awake, I'm awake. Is there something on my face then? Just far too amusing a size to wake up to. I'm using. <laughs> oh, just get out of bed already. <laughs> A noisy morning. <laughs> and the best morning you had in 10 years, huh? I love this. This is the sweetest episode ever. At least, like, for a while. Actually, probably ever. Yeah. In Hotta Morgana. I got my first decent look at Michelle's face under the light that morning. Watching him stifle a yawn as he crawled out of bed. All the little details I hadn't been able to pick up on darkness. His expressions, mannerism, and the way he looked at me. I could see facial features I had missed during yesterday commotion. And those vivid, all-consuming red eyes. Wow, they both, like, looking at each other now. The start that they missed. I have chills, God damn it! This is so good. I was probably... No, almost certainly, making a really dumb face at him. Is it just me, or is he... Kind of, no... Very pretty? Okay, how about I have not noticed that till now, because it was dark all the time, and he's been like... 
having like very annoyed face all the time. Oh jeez, now, wow. I can't look him in the eyes. Uh... Yes? What, what can I do for you? There's something on my face. <laughs> right back at you, huh? Oh, well, uh, uh, uh... Hair monster! <laughs> Great. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, uh... Your hair is really long. Yes, uh, that's it. Wait long. <laughs> oh? Is that any way for a servant to speak to her master? Oh, uh... Bah, I'm just kidding. Michelle smiling! Oh my god, this is fucking perfect. I, I love this episode. Please, nothing bad happened in this episode, I swear. Don't ruin this episode. <laughs> I don't have any interest in holding your status against you anymore. I see. It's really hard to tell if he's joking or not. So about the cleaning. May I wash my fa face first? What? You are going to help? As I just said, I'm not going to act like I'm superior to you anymore. Wow. What are you snickering about? I can't help it, I'm happy. If my hair really does bother you, you can cut it. Huh? I... I can cut it? Of course, I will give you the best haircut you ever had. Okay? We're going to have a Michelle with like different haircuts? Okay, that's new. <laughs> oh, what I should warn you. You will want to stay perfectly still. I'm a monster with the pair of scissors. Master always said you were as likely to lose an ear as you wear your hair whenever I cut it. <laughs> you stay away from me, okay? Never mind, there will be no no cutting. <laughs> I love their dynamic. This is such a freaking cool episode. I love it. I was shocked and how much more comfortable I felt around her only one day following our opening up to each other. Maybe this was normal, but I had simply never felt it before. I didn't know. I thought it would take years of work to get close enough to someone to be able to have a conversation without picking apart every little detail. But here I was, a day later, already there. Was that how it usually worked? Did people normally get close and draw apart so freely? I didn't find it unpleasant to have someone else around. It was a strange feeling. All that friction had dissip dissipated in an instant. It was like we had known each other for years. Though not entirely willingly, we began sharing meals, something I had always done by myself. Yeah, like I said, eat breakfast together finally. Hey, I see you showing a side. I see you showing a side that parsnip. Oh, picky eater, huh? You need to eat everything. Do you have an idea why there was so much rotting parsnip in the cellar? Oh god, this makes so much sense now. <laughs> He's just been not eating that. Oh god. I don't care for it. You could at least pretend to be ashamed. Jeez, you are not a kid, so don't be so picky. It's not good for you. It doesn't cause any problem thus far. It will soon enough. Eh, I can't believe you. We have limited supplies, and you won't eat your vegetables? Duh, question. I've got an idea. Go on. Is the list of supplies sent by your family set in stone? Meaning? I was just wondering if it's possible to make a request. If I could, I would just go out on a shopping trip. Perish the thought. Yep. The only village around here is the one you came from. Right. Say. Are you saying that of concern for... Who would ever be concerned about you? Sure, I just want to be able to sleep all night. 
I'm not interested in throwing more servants to the lions. You know, you're a whole lot simpler person than I first thought. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, nothing. I have a question about delivery. Yes, you can. I haven't made uh, any request recently, but you can write what you want on the sheet parchment, or if we don't have any, something similar. Put it in the box and leave it outside. As long as your request is not completely unreasonable, you should have arrived in the next package. Why is there something you need? Yeah. I was hoping to increase the selection of vegetables. Yeah, and delete Parasnip, apparently. <laughs> and while I am at it, if possible... Actually, that's a secret. Oh, okay. Interesting? A secret? <laughs> Nothing too exciting. I'll tell you when the time is right. Huh. I don't think she would, like, keep a secret that they will not have, like... Parasnips to be shipped. I don't think that's that exciting. Does she have something else in mind? Ah, interesting. What she want to order? My relationship with Michelle gradually transitioned from master and servant to something closer to a friend's. He was my master, but he allowed me almost complete freedom. And he didn't order me around either. Even gave me a hand, a hand with my work. Though he was still not very talkative and of, uh, oftentimes hard to read. He at least seems to be making an effort to close the gap. He would on occasion tell me about himself, though not in much detail. And every time his family came up, he grimaced uncomfortably. Apparently his father had wanted him dead. His brothers though had worked to create a scenario in which he could live, faking his death and sending him to this remote mansion. Oh, the brother saved him. Oh, okay. That answers one question. I had never encountered Michel Brothers while at his family estate, but assuming he was right and it was one of them who had given me that letter, they were likely uh, our only allies at that house. I don't know what he's thinking, it's been 10 years, Michelle had muttered, to which I had replied, have faith. It was better to believe in something, even if uh, it felt silly and unreasonable, than to lose uh, faith in uh, everything. My being able to find a renewed belief in the kindness of people was what had allowed me to start smiling again after all. Because I was able to have faith, and was able to enjoy life once more. It was an exciting feeling life. It was a humble, simple one, which is the two of us. But I wouldn't trade that light for anything. Some people might think it dull and dreary, but it was ours. Perfect. Master, I really, truly appreciate that you want to help with the cooking. I do, but... Honest, honestly, you suck. This is apocalyptic. This is muti news. What the hell muti news means? Something terrifying, probably. This is an affront of gastronomy. This is unearthly disgusting. <laughs> Get me better ingredients. <laughs> Not how it works, Michelle. <laughs> what? I'm not a bad cook. These are simply bad ingredients. They are better. They would taste just fine, boiled. <laughs> and that's not as bad as you claim. Besides, you make a mockery of the culinary art. <laughs> I love it. I'm Michelle. I'm like, yeah, I'm cooking like whatever and uh, like it works. I've been eating this for years. I don't see the problem. Me. <laughs> Are you the same? Are you something like that? <laughs> I've heard quite enough, Master. It sounds like I'm going to need to put your taste buds through some intense rehabilitation. I have to teach him what the real food tastes like. Otherwise, he won't be able to appreciate it if I make him something really good. Wow. Do you have culinary books? Hold the chest steady for me, will you? I'm going to wipe down the top shelf. I can handle it. 
I'm tall enough to reach without standing on the chair. It's not as simple as running a rug over it. I've got practice, so let me take care of it, alright? Hmm, there's a lot more dust than I expected. I probably should have used something to cover my mouth. You're going to... You're going to want to hold your breath for this, Master? Alright, here goes. She's quite practiced. Is there any need for me to holding the chair? Ah. Huh? Ah, <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the chair. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't think there would be that much dust. <laughs> okay. Thank you for holding the... Uh, what happens, uh, Master? Your hand is... Okay, it's grabbing her booba. What? Your hand is... Uh, it's on my uh, chest. Yep, it is. Okay. Even in Fata, even in Fata Morgana, we need this scene. Every single game have this. Come on. <laughs> even Fata Morgana. Actually, wait. Umineko didn't have scene like this, right? If I believe. I'm not sure. If it had, it would end in like five minutes, probably. Okay, maybe not every single game. I don't think there was one in Muramasa as well. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. I, uh, no, 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 I, it's an incident, accident. Right, I was, uh, it's fine, really. It was my fault, in a way. It's completely, totally fine. Ah, uh, I can't even look in her eyes. Could it be any more painfully awkward? So, don't worry about it, master. Honestly, I should be apologizing for subjecting you to that. That's easier said than done. I have to do something about this stifling awkwardness. For one, it was only for a moment, I just barely even realized what it was, but there's not issue. I need some clever way to brush it all aside. Something witty. Tells me her... I'm not bothered at all. Tells her I'm bothered, not bothered at all. I... I'm not concerned. In fact, I see no reason to be concerned at all. I felt like... I was squeezing the obsi rat. Oh my fucking god, Michelle, what the hell? <laughs> what kind of line is that? I hardly even perceived it as depressed. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck, Michelle? <laughs> An obsess rat. An ob obese, sorry, obese rat. What? How utterly insensitive you can be. I'm going to rip every last hair of your hair. Ah, leave my hair out of this. This is so freaking perfect, I love it. Say, Master, what did you do all this time, all by yourself? That's an exceedingly vague question. Ah, uh, say, when you were really, really stupidly bored, out of your mind, what did you do to keep yourself occupied? Meditate? Ah, uh, just how many times have you reached enlightenment? And sometimes play chess too. Chess? Wait, by yourself? I mean, yeah, some people do. Yes, I imagine how my opponent might react to my moves and play the other side the way. That's kind of depressing to think about this, yeah. But that's how people play the chess. How about this, Master? Play a game against me. Are you good? I think like she's suck, probably, right? I know I do. I used to play chess a little bit. Like, I've been like in like... Uh, uh, in like some kind, kind of like tournaments. I think I've been like in two tournaments for chess or something. Back when I was like, I don't know. How old I was like? 16, 17, maybe something like that. I've played like a little bit of chess. Yeah, it never hooked me up really. My brother though, like, was like winning like some like tournaments and like stuff 
And yeah, like, he's been, like, really freaking good. And they have, like, shelf with, like, you know, like, prizes for uh, for, uh, for for the chess. <coughs> yeah, that was ne never my, 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 like, good good thing. Do you know the rules? You bet I do. I do come uh, from family of merchants, so I keep up with trends and know all sorts of games. Uh huh. Aha, prepare to make your maker. Meet your maker. You are so going to lose so badly. I swear. So, who else is supposed to prepare to meet again? <laughs> You're not even an opponent for me. Ah, come on, have a little mercy, you trounced me. <laughs> One more time. I just wasn't at the top of my game. This is so... I, my, oh my god. Ah, when I'm going to meet this maker... <laughs> <laughs> Michel was so fucking perfect, I love him. Oh god. What? To how? When did you put me in the checkmate? One more. Hold on, that's not fair. Take it back. Ah, <laughs> my king. Please stop. <laughs> Amateur. Oh my god, he's smirk. <laughs> oh, love it. Can't you just go a little bit easy? <laughs> you never asked me to go easy. <laughs> Oh, he wants her to admit that she's not an opponent for him. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't a game, this is slaughter, this is a one-sided massacre. <laughs> so about this maker. I'm looking right at him. That was actually kind of fun. No, it wasn't, it was miserable. Next time we were playing something fair. Such as? Uh, let's see, oh, I know. Arm wrestling. How is that remotely fair? Huh? Arm wrestling? Yeah, you sit across each other, put your elbows on the table, grab hands, and see who can pin the other down. Who would ever willingly participate, participate in such a primitive competition? Not interested, huh? Are you afraid you might lose? Okay, that triggered him. <laughs> Alright then. I can't imagine losing to a woman. Eh? Uh -huh. Okay, elbow on the table. I, I I believe, like, Michelle should be fairly strong, to be honest. I think. Because, like, if, like, she's been a merchant, she's probably used to, like, you know, uh, moving stuff around. So she had a lot of exercises also as the maid. She constantly... It's physical work, basically. And you obviously get stronger with this. So wasn't she able to like move this like big box of supplies by her own, by the way, as well? So yeah, maybe it's actually for here. Who knows? And Michelle been always like here alone, never doing like anything really. So his muscles probably deteriorated, right? So he might be weak actually. He probably is weak. Let's see. How is it going to end? Start my count. Ready, go! Okay. Yep, okay, mission lost. Okay. This is fucking perfect, I love it. Victory! Yep. See? Michel just doing nothing, just like lost his strength. And also, he's not eating parasnips. Happy times. Are they cleaning everything? Oh, what was that face? Gently smiles. And the times pass. With each passing day, it grew less and less unusual having someone, having Gazelle, always at my side. You know what? 
I think I will save here. We'll end the episode here. I want this episode to be short but really happy. I don't know if like... Because we just had a time skip. And I don't want like anything bad in this episode to be honest. I want this to be happy episode. Just between Michelle and Giselle. And I think they deserve this. They deserve this happiness here. So yeah. That's it for this episode. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this episode. It was it did like it brought you joy. It really brought joy to me and I'm really happy for them. Yeah, uh, thank you for being with me for this episode. As I mentioned in the beginning, let me know in the comments what you want me to play after Fata Morgana. Put your suggestions down below. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thank you once again for watching this. Leave up a like if you like the episode, subscribe for more, check my Discord and also become a member if you would like to support me and see this episode earlier. Thank you once again and for now Pocket Watch is going out.